afternoon. My name is Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, and this is Welcome to Worcester State. Welcome to Worcester State is an online web show where each week we talk about the important topics that are a part of a new student's transition to Worcester State. This week, we're talking about first year residential experience. I'm very excited to be joined by Kristen Nelson, Associate Director of Residence Life. Kristen, thanks for joining me. Thank you, glad to be here. Uh, can you tell everyone at home a little bit about yourself and remind them a little bit about what Residence Life is? Sure, my name is still Kristen Nelson. I'm the Associate Director of Residence Life um, on upper campus. So essentially what I do is manage the residence hall experience for our resident students. Um, offer them an opportunity to get involved um, and to really become successful students while they're here. Awesome. So as you already know, we have some pre-planned questions. And as we've alluded to, to, they're about first year residential experience. Let's start at the beginning. What exactly is a first year residential experience program? Sure. Our first year residential experience, or FIRE as we call it, is a comprehensive program for all incoming first year residential students. It's an opportunity for them to get to know the university, um, to get to know our staff, and to really find out together um, what it means to be a Worcester State student. Awesome. Um, can you talk a little bit about what a student could expect within the first few days uh, sure. while transitioning to Worcester State? Yeah. Well, first off, all of our first year residential students should be looking for their roommate assignments. And they'll be receiving those um, by email around July 14th. So around that week, they should be looking for roommate information, which is the first super exciting um, time that we have to offer our students. Next, they should be looking forward to Sunday, September 1st, which is move-in day this year. Um, and move-in day is a day to enjoy with your family and friends, whoever's dropping you off. Residence life doesn't let you lift a finger. Um, we meet you at your car and load your blue, blan blue bin and get you moved right into your room. Oh, I love move-in day. It's, it's like my favorite my, day. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah. exciting. There's tons of things to do. Um, we really look forward to it every year. Yeah. Um, I don't know if everyone knows. I used to be in residence life, so like yeah. move-in day, like the day. All That's right. It's your jam. It is my jam. Mm -hmm. I won't, I, I'll, maybe I'll be there. I don't know. Blue bins, you know, people need to push those. So uh, what, can you talk a little bit about what the program's like within the first few weeks? Sure. Well, after we get you moved into your residence hall, um, we offer programs all day through the night. We have a um, huge ice cream social that night, um, the really first campus experience that our students are getting. It's one of the things that our students talk about um, throughout their four years and really look forward to enjoying with our freshmen every year. Um, after that, we have convocation, um, which I'm sure you'll talk about in a, oh, yeah. on another week. We will. Uh, which is the first academic welcome to the university by President Maloney, um, which we're proud to um, bring our students to. And then we offer program, programming every single day for the first 60 days while our first year students are here. So they can never say there's nothing to do on Worcester State's campus. There is 60 things to do. At least 60. In the first six weeks. <laughs> okay, wow. All right. Um, can we talk a little bit about what the difference between like a first year ex residential experience program is versus like a living learning community? Yeah, for sure. First year residential experience is for all first year st resident students. So everybody who lives in Dowden Hall or um, the 200 first year students that live in Sheehan Hall experience the same programming model together. The same opportunities are offered to everyone. A living learning community is specific to a population of students. So this year, let's take our clues um, living in uh, living community. They move in together, they share a similar experience, but they also have a first year seminar um, and as well as an English class linked to, the, um, to their experience. So mm -hmm. it's very different than the general student experience. I want to jump back because we were talking about the, the 60 programs yeah. that uh, the students can look forward to. What sort of areas are our programs kind of based around? Sure. Community building, for sure. It's really hard if you've had a single your whole life yeah. um, at home getting to live with another person or live on a floor and share bathroom space. Um, figure out if you're a night owl or you like to go to bed early. Um, so, so we spend a lot of time um, talking about conflict resolution um, and helping people gain those experiences so they can have um, healthy relationships. We do things with alcohol and drugs. We talk about um, e-cigarettes, policy, um, we give, offer opportunities to do service. So if our students are interested in that, we offer those opportunities. So there's very um, broad range of programming that we do in those six, first six weeks. Awesome. 
So I guess the last question has to do with, I guess, like who is a part of this? So we know that this is for all first year residents, students living in the residence halls, but I'm sure there is a, a cast of characters of sorts that uh, kind of make this come to fruition. So can you for talk sure. a little bit about the partnerships. Yeah. So we partner with a lot of offices on campus, but just in our office alone, we have um, a graduate assistant who works with all of the programming, who works with the resident assistants, who are the student leaders on every floor, who work with the hall directors who supervise them. Um, so there's a huge cast of characters, as well as working with the academic services office, working with retention, <laughs> athletics. Um, we really work with every office, and because we um, manage 1,600 resident students, it's great for us to be able to offer those relationships across campus. So if somebody has a question about financial aid, we can link them to that. Yeah. If they're struggling with a coach, we can help them have that difficult conversation. So um, being a resident student is a pretty awesome opportunity for all Worcester State students, and I strongly suggest it. <laughs> I have to give a pitch. Uh, yeah, no, I true. Cosign. I, I'll sign off on that. Okay, I, I also enjoy residence life and living <laughs> on campus. Thank you. All right. So uh, those are all of our questions today that are pre-planned about first-year residential experience. But everyone knows it's time for the wheel. So uh, we have our random wheel of questions. Kristen, whenever you're ready, feel free to give that a spin. Okay. And we relax. got relaxed. This is a great question, especially because it's beautiful out right now. It is. So what, for a student coming to campus, where's a really uh, nice place where, you know, they can just relax? Yeah. Well, first we have lounge about every six feet in our yeah, residence halls. True. So you can hang out in one of those spaces. Mm -hmm. But on a beautiful day like today, we have a lot of green space on upper campus. We have tennis courts, a basketball court outside. Mm -hmm. If you just want to go for a walk, there's a very easy three mile loop around um, the neighborhood mm -hmm. on the western side of Worcester. Yep. For myself, if I like to relax, I like to go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> so they could um, head to Target. Um, there's lots of different opportunities. So uh, for, for new students who are, who are looking to relax, yeah. you can see Kristen, she'll be at Target. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I have candy. And there'll be candy. <laughs> OK, great. Um, awesome. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for joining You're me today. Welcome. Uh, that, uh, that concludes all of our questions for today. This has been Welcome to Worcester State. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Worcester State. Click on the playlist for Welcome to Worcester State. As always, I'm Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, signing off from Worcester State. State. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Bye-bye.